friends, my name is Kate Shirk, and welcome back to The Curse of Monkey Island. Now, it's been a minute since I've played this. I haven't had much of a chance. Um, so, uh, I know we need to get the gold tooth from Blackbeard. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Um, okay, that's annoying. Come on, then, Skybrush. Let's hurry up, then. Okay, um, so let's see. We need to go... There we go. Um, go back to the swamp, and I need to get gum because he wants something to chew between his teeth. So, inventory. Bag of nickels. Oh shit. Should have done. I knew I should have done something too. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. Cool. Don't know why that matters. Bit pack of gum. Okay. Okay, well now I've figured it out the trick, so... Puerto Pollo. Now that I remember how to speak Spanish again, which wasn't really that much in the first place. Okay, so let's go to Blonde Beard or whatever his name be. Whatever his name be, I apologize. Hello! Would you like some gum, sir? Would you like some gum? Thanks! Mmm! This is really good steak-flavored gum! It gets you here! And it gets you right here! Oh! Now what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to pop it? What do I pop it with? That? I don't think he'd like... I don't think he'd like that. No, I want it with the... I'm afraid I might... I mean, can I just pop I the can't bubble? use the skeleton arm with that. Let's give this a shot. Go on. Okay, go back to, go back to the swamp. Uh, yeah. So, can I pick it up? Oh, you... Toy scissors, you don't. Pin. Pick up the bloody pin. Why was that so bloody hard? What a relief. Oh. <laughs> Alright then. Okay, so we'll go back to the blonde beard and then actually pop this bloody thing. My god. What I, I swear I tried to pick that up before and it wouldn't. What else is new? Are you gonna chew the gum? Okay, so here. Here, have some gum. More gum? Yeah, it looks like you swallowed the last piece I gave you. It's disgusting. Thanks! Mmm! Okay, I really hate gum. Yeah, I don't think he'd like I don't think he'd like that. Oh, I hate it. Why you little scamp? <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you've played on old Cap and Blonde Beer. I mean, whatever you call it. Oh, not what I want. Oh, with the gold tooth. Can't. Oh, it scratches his bum. Excuse me, but. What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? You've struck gold, boy! Have I? I have. Gold! 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 Ha-ha! <laughs> gold and nuggets of chicken! Oh. A treasure trove of deep-fried fun! <laughs> now, what can kindly old Captain Blondebeard bring you for lunch? Uh... Cheese toast. I do like... I do love a grilled cheese. Okay, uh... Eh, nothing for me, thanks. It'd be just as well. Actually, I'm out of just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. Yeah, because you'll be... I'll let you get back to work. Because you'll be vomiting up the storm. I don't even know what Ipecac tastes like, honestly. Okay, come on then. Quickly. Quickly, quickly. When I was just a lad, looking for my true vocation, 
My father said, no son, this choice deserves deliberation. Though you could be a doctor, or perhaps a financier. My boy, why not consider a more challenging career? Let's go here. Okay. So apparently you give the gold tooth. Check this out. Cut fruit bill. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So you'll join my crew? Sure. As long as my partners will join too. I'll need okay. one more sailor for my crew. Okay, so we've got gold. Okay. So what you didn't see, my mistake, is that he would only join if I could find gold, which was why I had to go and get it from what's it. So I need haggis, yeah? So I need haggis to join, yeah? Is it haggis? Um... How would you like to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Uh, wrist wrestling... Helping you move. Cage match to the death. Well, how would I join the crew? Australian rolls football. That's insane. How about who can hold his breath the longest? How about this? a test of who can hold his breath the longest? No. No. I'm talking about the traditional Highland Dude. display of strength and virility. The caber toss. Uh, ah. What in the world is a caber? The caber is a large tree trunk. We go to the field of competition, and each of us heaves the caber as far as he can. The man whose caber goes the farthest is the winner. That's of just about the stupidest sport I've ever heard of. No. I watch cable television. Aye, but you cannot argue with tradition. Can ya? Okay, so... Sounds great. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, then. I would never follow such a weak captain. How am I so was I supposed to do something? So apparently those are all because we need the rubber trees over here. So of course I'm not gonna be able to do it with the sawhorse, yeah. Do I have something to ignite it? Um, oh, yeah. So apparently we knocked the rubber tree down and that'll cause the... Because it's a lot lighter than the regular. Watch out, buddy! And then I can challenge him. And Whoa, I can... my head is spinning. I gotta lay off the rum. But why is the rum gone? <laughs> Let's try this again. Haggis! McMutton! Mm. Oh. Uh. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? It's as I told you, Guybrush. Not until you can best me in the cable toss. Well, let's go and do this again. Sounds great. Let's do it. Because now I've got a secret up my sleeve. <sighs> let's chuck it into next week, then. Oh, well, there we go. Hey, I win! By the really. spiraling bouffant to be great Uncle McManus! Never McManus. before have I seen such strength! Sure, I'll join your crew. Oh, I'll wait at you. the shop until you're ready to leave. Okay. Well, I got my whole crew. Okay, so we'll go on then. And, oh, well, there we go. A barrel of grog! And a chicken! <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate! All right, then. Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's, uh... It's, uh, it's some kind of footwear. Oh, hey! hey. Got Those are boots. nice boots. Ah. That can't be good. But they're still hot. Ow, 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 ow! Are they hot? <laughs> Alright, calm down then. Just some boots. 
Okay then. All right. So I think what do we have left to do? Okay. So I guess we'll go. I mean, I don't feel like there's anything left for us to do here. Now we just gotta go get Elaine and or her thing. Yeah. All right then. No, 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 no. There we go. Um, so we'll go to dang hair clothes. Yeah. Come on, guy brush. Let's go then. It is a bit quicker now that I can just double click everything and go through. My cousin's here. Hello, boys. Get in the boat then. So, use the serrated knife, yes, on the plank. I don't know how this is. Uh, so. I don't need the plank. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, why can't I just climb up on the plank? Fifteen men on a dead man's huh? Who are you? And I want my girlfriend. Um I'm Guybrush Threepwood and I want my girlfriend. Well, well, fiance, let's get it right. See how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the sea cucumber. Hi, and Mr. Fossey. And the first mate. And my captain? Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas! Is he? Red pirate. Let's you... Yes, Captain. It's on the table, sir. Let's you... That's right. Captain, let's... You... Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. And I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Uh... Feather sounds good, how about just feather? I walked the plank thing on the way up. Good well, enough. I walked that plank thing on the way up. Good enough? No. No, oh, so, well, well, shot. I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What, the what do you say, oh. men? Shall we make him walk the plank? <laughs> What's that, Captain? Panthers! Well, it looks like we're having technical difficulties, Threepwood. So we'll have to drag out the tar and feathers after all. Really? Is that a punishment that the pirates had? I don't think it was. That'll learn you. <laughs> Will it? So what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. <laughs> Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. <laughs> well, it just keep your standards lost, low. Well, I don't know what to do about this. Okay, so, wait, is there something over there? Did I miss something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll go back over here. I don't know what this will do. I guess we gotta get rid of the feathers, because no one's going to follow a big tarred and feathered captain. I... Do you have a reservation? Mm -hmm. Madre de Dios! Es el pueblo diablo! Devil chicken? Uh, okay. <laughs> it's El Pollo Diablo, the giant demon chicken of Puerto Pollo. You weren't content just to release all my chickens and scare all my customers away, were you? Uh, that's right. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Oh my god. 
Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Huh? Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an Le overachiever, a <laughs> doer. Is LeChimp okay? LeChimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh bananas for the whole crew! An utter loon. What's that, Captain? Can we not get that by his stance? Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean! Well, that's not weird at all. <laughs> If he knows I'm here, he might do something even more horrible to me. Okay, let's see here. I've got grease. Let's see. What's this? It's a book about ventriloquism. It's an interesting read on its own, but I should try it out on somebody. Oh, cool. Um... <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? You sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me, at the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. Why are you I mean, talking like... In the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, no, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not... Sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir. But I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it... To... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good. And then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. Map to where they buried Elaine. With all eyes open, follow the path to the X. X marks the spot. All right then. Uh, let's see. I don't go in for all that highbrow artsy theater stuff. Besides, if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage door. Okay. I don't think so. Can I pick up some bananas? I can't imagine. I don't know what we're doing here, honestly. Um, there's really nothing else. It's a porthole. I guess we can just... Oh, well that's not good, is it? Hello, boys! Oh, they took my boat. Oh, there it is. Okay, then. I guess we'll go back and I don't know where we go from here. Back here, yeah? I don't know what we're supposed to do, but it's getting about, this might just be a quick one and then I'll come back to another time. So I think, let's see here, what is it? Yeah, so I'm gonna leave this episode off here and I will come back at a later time and uh, Oh, wait. Cancel. Um. So I will come back at a later time and pick up where I left off, because I have to, if you haven't judged by my uh, workout attire, I have to get to my yoga class. That is probably the most white woman, 30-something <laughs> 30, 30 white woman thing I have ever said. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Be sure to jump down on that like button if you did like it. Leave a comment down below with any other game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see other videos that I've done. I will see you all for the next one. Some say that pirates steal and should be feared and hated. I say we're victims of bad press. It's all exaggerated. We'd never stab you in the back. We'd never lie or cheat. 
We're just about the nicest guy you ever want to meet.